guys don't understand the content of this video, if you're not familiar with the names that I'm dropping and things like that, then you're probably not in tune with what they call the conscious community. Um, the conscious community is basically an underground subculture of black people who are interested in learning more about themselves. They are interested in DIY, do-it-yourself ethic, meaning uh, instead of trusting the mainstream world, commercial world, to tell you how to be black they want to do that themselves and it uh manifests itself in various different um uh it, it manifests itself in a lot of weird ways and one of those weird ways is you find people who are not medically trained but they go around telling people that they're doctors and because the conscious community is filled with a lot of open-minded black people and when i say open-minded open-minded can also be you know the, the polarity thing you know, you can be open-minded to the point where you're willing to hear other people's opinions and you're not judgmental. You can be on that end of the spectrum or you can be open-minded to the point where you actually believe in polygamous relationships. You actually believe that enlightened people aren't going, you know, shouldn't restrict themselves to heterosexuality. That's a limiting thing. So when you say open-minded, you got to watch yourself because in the conscious community, open-minded can mean a lot of different things. But there's a guy named Dr. Inky. And a few months ago, maybe nine months ago, eight months ago, this guy named Brother Polite, which was Dr. Inky's best friend at one point in time, Doctor, I mean, Brother Polite got charged in Florida with uh, being a pedophile. And after that, everybody looked at Dr. Inky because he was known to hang with Polite. He was known to do business with them. He was uh, even speculated to be scamming with them because Polite has a reputation for scamming people. These are like con men, you know, these are like those guys who, uh, you know, they always got to hustle or something like that. Um, and Dr. Inky actually distanced himself from Polite at that point, after Polite got arrested. And he started making these videos about Polite. And it was funny because he was getting thousands, I mean, so he would go live. And five seconds into being live, two, three thousand people would show up. I mean, the lightest, the, the smallest number of people to show up would be 600. So he would put a video, he was, he, at that point, he knew he was hot. He would do like 20 videos a day. Each one would get thousands and thousands of views instantly. You know, it's, it didn't even need, I mean, as soon as he did the live, the video would have 3,000 people. I mean, it was just so thirsty to hear Dr. Inky speak about polite and distance himself from polite. And I think it's funny that now... Uh, you know, he's he's doing his medical thing, and uh, it's funny because he, his latest video has like a hundred views, so basically the public has abandoned Dr. Inky, and I just think it's, um, I'm not trying to down the man or, or do anything like that, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I don't get the most views or anything like that, but I look at YouTube as a fun thing, and if people want to hear what I have to say, I just look at that as a plus, I throw videos up. And I don't really have any master playing with it. I just look at you. I've been on YouTube since 06. And I look at this as like my personal space where I can kind of give my opinion on things. You know, I don't even really have a specific genre that I'm in. I just do it for fun. You know, I record a video. I talk my trash. People can relate. Sometimes I have an inspirational message. Sometimes I have something that I can uh, give to you that may help you. And um, I don't look at myself as being a messiah or anything like that. I believe you can help me just as much as I can help you. But these guys look at themselves as messiahs and gods and stuff like that. So, um, But anyway, my point is, it's just funny. You know, he was going at this guy named Taharka Bay, you know. And it's just funny that everybody has... A, I mean, where are all those people? You got 100 views on your latest video. I mean, there was a period of time I would check out his live... Three, four thousand people in there as soon as he started it. And I think that's very uh, representative of the conscious community in general. These people say they want consciousness, but really they don't. You know, these people are really just uh, in it for entertainment value and other various, you know, things. You know, they're not really into it for the consciousness. And Dr. Inky, I hope you understand that, you know, because you know how good it felt. I bet you felt good during that period of time. You put a video up, go live, bam, thousands of people show up. They were hanging on your every word. Now they've abandoned you. And this is the reason why I preach against the conscious community. Peace.